Hey guys, Lance here, best day ever MTB, and it's summertime here in New Zealand, which means that I need to fit some wet weather tyres. If you probably don't get that joke, but summer seemed to last about 10 days here in New Zealand, and now it's been raining for the last four days. I'm in my garage, and I'm a little bit grumpy. But not completely grumpy, because I got sent a package by Van Dyke's Bikes in Pataru. Thanks very much, Grant. What have I got? Drum roll. We've got some Argatel Continental tyres. Look at those bad boys, that's pretty mean. Got a 29 for the front, 27 and a half for the rear, 2.6. Now if you watch my channel for a while, I, I pretty much only use one brand of tire, um, but I do follow the World Cup downhill, and a lot of the teams seem to use Continental, and they do very well. So quite keen to give these a try. So anyway, um, let's throw them on the bike. Okay, so got the old tire off, and the Kushkor even managed to recycle the sealant. Um, so now I watch Sam Pilgrim's channel, and these tires actually go on quite easily. All you have to do is sort of get them lined up, and not sure what. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Twenty-seven and a half tire. Never going to go on a twenty-nine rim, is it? <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Got it this time. Yeah, that didn't work either. All right, let's just go back to the old-fashioned way, eh? Okay, so I managed to fit the tyres. Uh, literally took me a couple of minutes. Okay, that's not true. Uh, it was a little bit of a struggle, to be honest, especially with the Kushkor, a little bit of swearing there. In fact, if you want to know my preferred technique for fitting mountain bike tyres, when you buy them from the shop, just say, do you mind fitting them while I'm here? Okay, what is the most important thing about a mountain bike tyre? Well, it's looking mean, of course, uh, and these things look seriously mean. I must admit, they, they do look impressive. One thing that's a little odd about them is nowhere on this tyre does it tell you the size, 2.6, 29, uh, even uh, rotation direction, and no information on the tyre at all, which is a little bit odd. I've never seen that before. But anyway, they do look cool. Um, of slightly less importance is performance and handling, but I guess we'll check that out over the coming weeks, and we'll get back to you and I'll let you know um, how I got on with these tyres. Just like magic, we've travelled forward in time. I wasn't going to just take these tyres and the bike for one lap around my local bike park and say it was all good. So we've taken them out to Woodhill, Maraitai, 440, and even flew the bike down to Queenstown Bike Park and tested it there. Now, I often say things uh, in a video that I later regret, such things as, uh, I'm going to be really careful and not hurt myself, and then I go and nearly break my neck. And at the start of this video, I said that the summer had been a little bit wet, well, that turned out to be an understatement, didn't it? We got Auckland's worst flood ever, followed pretty much by the worst cyclone ever. Um, pretty much devastation everywhere. The only good thing was I actually did manage to test these tyres out in some wet weather conditions in the middle of a New Zealand summer. Now, I did say there's no information on the tyre. Well, that's not strictly true. They do actually have these symbols on the side, and I looked up on the Continental website. They've got like a periodic table thing, and it shows you what they all mean. And this is basically the... Um, Enduro casing, I think it's a soft compound, and so all the all the symbols mean something. In fact, if you look at the, the table, you can get um, right from a xylotel to a cryptotel to an argotel to a hydrotel. Um, I think the hydrotel is actually their mud tire, and this is their sort of next one down, which is their loose conditions tire that they've listed it as. Now, you can actually get this tyre, the Argatel, you can get it in a trail casing, an enduro casing, you can get it in a downhill soft or a downhill super soft. So there's quite a variety of different setups you could potentially get if you wanted to. Now it's interesting when you choose a tyre because there is no perfect tyre. Um, basically there's three factors when you're looking at a tyre. There's grip, there's speed or rolling resistance, and then there's... Um, its durability, how quickly it wears. And I imagine looking at this tyre with its aggressive tread pattern, um, it's going to, it's not going to be the fastest rolling tyre, and it's probably not going to be the, the longest wearing tyre either because of the soft compound. Now saying that, um, I did look on the website and also supposedly Continental make their tyres out of black chilli or black chilli compound. I don't actually think it's got chilli in it actually, um, but it's supposed to, in, in theory, get more out of all three of those um, categories. I don't know where that works. All I can tell you is how I got on riding them. So anyway, um, how, did on, how did I get on riding them? So my first test, I took these out to Woodhill Bike Park. Now Woodhill is a mixture of sand, a little bit of clay, and um, lots of wooden features, some wooden wall rides, skinnies, things like that. Now, 
to, in all honesty, um, I think this tyre is probably a bit of an over overkill if Woodhill is the sort of place you ride. Saying that, had no issues riding it there. Um, even managed to stick a few wall rides. Uh, the the soft compound gripped fine. Certainly didn't feel as though I was rolling too slow or losing uh, traction on the on the wood. So uh, yeah, Woodhill was all fine. I also took the tyre and the bike, of course, out to 440, which is a bike park. And the day we went there, uh, it was wet and it's clay and a bit sticky and slippery. And this is where the bike, I think, really performed. Uh, I was following a friend of mine down and he was skating and slipping down all these clay chutes. And I could literally just ride down there without breaking traction. So to me, this uh, is, seems like a really good wet weather tyre, really a good winter tyre. Lots of tread in those loose, uh, wet conditions. Um, yeah, so 440, it was really good. Actually, this is where it really shone. Oh, this looks interesting. Right, now will be a test of the tyres. Oh, they're brilliant. Look at that. Now I actually managed to get the bike down to Queenstown. I actually managed to fly the e-bike down. And so if you haven't seen that, um, you should check out those videos. Um, Queenstown, South Island, it's almost like a different country to the North Island. Dry, rocky, hard conditions. Um, so very, very different. Now, how did I get on? Well, pretty good to be honest. Although oh, some of the bike park, um, I reckon probably this uh, is more of an aggressive tyre than you probably need. The crypto tail might be a better option. Um, I guess if you're trying to go flat out on high speed berms and hitting tabletops, you're looking for a fast rolling tyre rather than this. We did also go to Alexandra, which was steep, rocky, and really gnarly, and I thought these were excellent for that. A lot of loose gravel. Um, it seemed to grip really well and I felt very safe and secure on the steep stuff. So um, definitely was really good under those conditions. Oh, this is interesting. All right, that's the line the captain took. It's the line I'm taking. Argatels, hold on. Good boys. Wait, that's tight. He's right, this is switchback here, right? I did also recently take the, the bike out to Maraitai, which is was a mixture actually in the in the forest of wet slippery conditions and out in the open of dry sort of dusty conditions. Again, it really comes into its own, I think, in those um, wet slippery conditions. Um, Interestingly enough, on that ride, uh, one of the guys uh, burped his tyre and lost all the air out of it. Um, but I had no issues, uh, certainly for the time I've been running these tyres. And the other thing that surprised me with these tyres is that, you know, in a place like Queenstown, really hard rock, um, and so we did quite a lot of riding, I can't noticeably tell that there's any wear on the tyres at all. So they've held up pretty well so far. Now, some of you may be thinking that, Lance, your videos have all the production quality of a kindergarten nativity play and yet somehow you end up get, getting sent some nice Conti tyres. That doesn't really seem fair. And I agree. So I've, I wanted to see if I could get you guys a deal. So I contacted Grant, um, who gave me these from um, Pateru, uh, Van Dyke's Pateru, um, and asked if we could do a deal. And he said, how about 15% off of all Conti tyres? And I said to him, make it 25% or I'll tell everyone you cried like a baby when I suggested doing the rock drop in uh, Cougar Park. And anyway, we got the 25%, so I'm not going to say that. Uh, so 25%, that's a pretty good deal, actually. Um, there will be terms and conditions. Obviously, the deal doesn't run forever. And down in here and in the description, we'll explain it. There'll be a code, of course, best day ever, I think it's going to be. And um, so you can put that in the website. There'll be a link again, you know, rounds there somewhere in the description. And you can uh, get the same same tires. You don't have to get the Argatels. You can get whichever Conti range you want, 25% off. I think even free shipping in the Waikato and Bay of Plenty um, and some other shipping rate, I guess, for the rest of New Zealand. Sorry, only for the New Zealand customers. Sorry about that one. Um, but anyway, that's a pretty good deal, I think. So hopefully you're happy I managed to score you that one. Um, if you are new to the channel and you haven't subscribed, of course, I'd love it if you did that. And looking forward to hearing your comments. Let me know what you reckon about Conti tyres and, and what ones you use. So anyway, we'll see you on the next one.